Hi guys. Okay, so in the last video, I kind of showed you how or where the Maclaurin series comes from. In this video, we are going to actually find a Maclaurin series um, using this formula. Now, in the formula booklet, we are given these five Maclaurin series, e to the x, ln of 1 plus x, sin x, cos x, and arc tan of x. This one is not in the formula booklet, but it specifically says it in the guide. So I'm going to do a lesson on this one in particular. This is 1 plus x to the bar of p, where p is a, a rational number. So don't worry about that one for now. These ones are all given in the formula booklet. You can use them, of course, when they're, they're given in the formula booklet, but you need to be able to show them from this, um, like from the formula, you need to be able to show where they come from. So my example, I'm only going to do one, I'm not going to do all of these five. Um, but the concept is the same, you can find the Maclaurin series for any function, in fact, not just these five functions, using this method that I'm, that I'm about to show you. And it's pretty straightforward. It's simply just subbing things into this formula. But I want to show you how to lay it out and how to do it properly. So the function is sine of x and we want to show that the Maclaurin series for sine of x is this and it says the it says the Maclaurin series up to the term in x to the four in x to the four well actually I meant to say in x to the seven it's a bit annoying okay in x to the seven for sine x is given by this okay so Look, the Maclaurin series goes on forever. So in, in an exam, whenever you're asked to find a Maclaurin series, they're, they're always going to tell you to stop somewhere. You can't write out the whole thing forever and ever and ever. So I'm just, I, they, sometimes they say the first four non-zero terms. Sometimes they say the Maclaurin series up to the term in x to the power of whatever, x to the power of seven is this. Okay, so what I do is I say f of x, I'm going to do f of x equals sine x, whatever the thing is. And then I need to find out how many derivatives do I need. Okay, so look, this is for, this term is the third derivative, this is the fourth derivative, sorry, this is the fifth derivative, and this is the seventh derivative. There are terms there with, there, there are going to be zero ter terms that are zero, like when I sub in zero here, it becomes zero. So I, I actually need seven derivatives here. So the first derivative, the first derivative is cos x, the second derivative is minus sine. The third, now to be fair, it's not often they'd ask you to do seven derivatives. I just want to be, I just want to be very clear on how it's done. So minus cos x, the fourth derivative is back to sine. So, so then it just repeats itself. The fifth derivative, fifth derivative is cos sixth derivative you can act, you can write six don't worry if you can't remember how to write roman numerals it's it's okay to write six here in a bracket so the sixth derivative is where am i minus sine and the seventh derivative the seventh derivative is minus cos x Okay, so I need all the derivatives. To, to complete the Maclaurin series, you need f of zero, f dash of zero, f dash dash of zero, and all of these. So first we get the derivatives, and then I get f, I get the value of them at zero. So f of zero is sine of zero, which is zero. f dash of zero is cos of zero, which is one. f dash dash of zero equals minus sine of zero, which is zero. Now notice, because of the way this the one this one is, it's sine cos, sine cos, sine cos, it's gonna be zero, one, zero, negative one, etc. There's a there's a pattern there. So it's F third derivative at zero is negative one, fourth derivative at zero is zero, fifth derivative is one, sixth derivative is zero and the seventh derivative is negative one now once i have these it's actually pretty straightforward i'm just going to sub these into this mclaurin series now let me just copy and paste this so i have it down here 
Okay, so this is my McLaurin series. I'm going to sub these into this. So I can say f of x, f of x is approximately equal to. So it is equal to it when it goes on forever, but he's only asking me to find the term up to x to the power of 7. So I'm going to put in the approximately um, approximately equals. Then it's f0. I find my f0. It's, right, let's put in 0. Plus x times f dash of 0, x times 1, which is x times 1. Plus x squared over 2 factorial times 0. Plus, and then I just keep going, x cubed over 3 factorial times negative 1 plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial times 0. Um, do you have to put in these zeros all the time? Well, look, it's just, the fact that it was a show that question, um, I'm going to do it because I like to be crystal clear to my examiner what I'm doing. x to the 5, so this is my fifth derivative, this is 1. Plus, let me just get all the space I have here. x to the 6 over 6 factorial times 0 plus x to the 7 over 7 factorial times minus 1. Now, this is this is equal to x, so 0, plus, so that's just my x. This is 0. There's a minus 1, so it's minus x cubed over 3 factorial. Then this is 0 plus x to the 5 over 5 factorial plus 0 minus x to the 7 over 7 factorial, which is this, exactly what they wanted us to show. So that's the Maclaurin series. It's at, like the first video I showed you, I said, this is complicated. It's hard to get your head around what's going on. But the actual writing out a Maclaurin series isn't that difficult at all. All you do is write out the derivatives, then sub in zero and sub it into the formula. And that's it. Um, definitely, I'd like you to go and try and do e to the x, ln of 1 plus x, cos x, and arctan of x. Um, do them now. Do them on your own. Look, you have these are the answers. This is what you're trying to get. Make sure you know how to do it. I'm going to do a lesson uh, on this one after. And I'm also going to do lessons where we where we combine them and look at uh, more more complicated functions. Okay, so I'll see you in the next see you in the next video.